The app is called Kick. It's free, and like other apps, teens use it to share messages, photos, and videos. But unlike some other apps, Kick can be completely anonymous. You don't have to give a name to sign up. You don't have to be friends to connect. Anyone can contact anyone. It's very popular with kids and teens. The company says it has 275 million users around the world. But police are concerned that it's also being used by predators. The problem I have with Kick in particular is the ability for strangers to, to reach out to strangers. And a lot of these strangers are kids. CBC News wanted to see what kind of unsolicited messages kids are sent on Kick. So we created a profile for a 13-year-old girl named Alicia. Within minutes, she started receiving random messages from strangers, some wanting to know about her sexual fantasies. Here are a few of the messages we received. I'm 29 and I want to be your boyfriend. How obedient are you? Asked someone with the username Master Daddy. Let me look out for you on here. Texted another who said he wanted to swap live pics with Alicia, despite admitting that he was old enough to be her father. Police say they've seen the app being used to trade illegal pictures, including child pornography, and they're urging parents to be more aware of what apps their kids are using. It is the most frustrating part of my job, is parents who have no clue what their kids are doing. If your child does get in a situation, hopefully they're comfortable enough to come to you and say, I'm getting over my head, you know, here, can you look at this? And we've had that, and that's good, right, before it gets really bad. In the U.S., the FBI is looking into what kind of role Kick may have played in a recent kidnapping and murder of a 13-year-old girl in Virginia. Now, Kick declined our request for an interview and instead referred to its website for safety tips. Connie Walker, CBC News, Toronto.